Welcome back to Dalra Models. So in this video I'm going to do some weathering on this because at the end of the day it's a rally car so I'm going to make it look all dirty. So to start with I've bought some of this um, which I'm going to have a play with. not used it before, not used anything like this before so it's going to be a bit of an interesting learning curve um, as to what I do with it. So just taking the lid off and so from what I understand this is just brush it on where you would want to see a build up of dust and grime and dirt so I'm just going to put some up there to start with and I'm hoping this isn't going to completely ruin it but we shall find out And it looks like it's going on quite sort of thick and heavy and everything, but I think that's from by design for the actual product. So put some down there and put some down there. And the idea behind it is you put it where you would get dust build up. So put some over the top of the arches here. And this is just part one of what I'm going to be doing just doing this to start with just to uh, see what it's like because I've not used it before and hope like I said that I don't end up making a complete complete mess of it put some over the top of the window there as well and then over the top of there And some over there, and some down there. So I'm just going to go around and apply all of this where I think the high spots would be, where it would attract the dust. Like I said, that's ultimately what what they say. Put it where where the dust build up would be, where the higher points are. And the raise point so if it sat somewhere and it dust was just coming down on it that's where that's where you'd apply this so I'm going to keep going around and applying this and then I'll show you the next step okay I've gone around the whole car now as you can see and I've also masked off the window which I was meant to do before and uh, overlooked so next bit to do is I've got some plain white spirit in a jug so just putting a flat brush into it and then you can just blend this into into the model and sort of remove any sort of any of the two where you've got too much excess and stuff and and just sort of start blending it in a bit. So like I said, I've not I've not done this before, so this is a learning curve for me as to how it actually all works. But because I've got a lack of base, this is um, this is an enamel based. I assume being that it's uh, seems to be white spirit. So, but because I've got a lack of base, it means that it's not going to going to affect the um, the actual clear coat below it or the paint or anything so the decal should all be protected from that as well so let's try and streak it a bit see how that works so what I'm going to try and do is get a lot of it off doing this method now so you can see on that front wing where my brush was dry so it didn't 
it didn't move a lot. But I'm just gonna, gonna keep working like this. And where I've got where I've got those streaks on the bonnet, I'm just gonna keep working that and uh, try and soften that up and get rid of a lot of those sort of street lines. Because ultimately I want it to look dirty. So when I've done weathering in the past I've I've done it a different way, but I thought I'll give these a try and see how they work. So and uh, it's possibly interesting for you guys to see something new as well. Learn with me. So at the moment it's still very streaky so I'm gonna I'll just keep working this and I'll come back in a bit when uh, I feel like I'm making progress. Okay, I put it on my turntable to make it easier to uh, to work with and, and turn it. So as you can see, I'm I'm getting there with these uh, these layers now. So it's starting to to get dirty. Up. I've got a different plan for the wheels, which I'll show you shortly. So there's a reason that they're still white. Um, so with a combination of going over with a brush and some kitchen towel just wiping down to get it that's where that's where I'm at with it so I'm going to move over to my next stage now um, which is process I'm a little bit more familiar with because it's one that I've used in the past so bear with me and I will move over into the spray booth okay so I'm at the paint booth as you can see now um, so I've loaded the airbrush up with Tamiya XFX52 Flat Earth, um, which is acrylic. So again, going on the layers, um, acrylic over this so that it doesn't um, have any reaction to the paint underneath. So as well as doing the top of the bodywork, which you saw before, I've also done a bit underneath and it's not particularly neat um, but it'll do for what I want so I put the paint in the airbrush neat and I turn the pressure quite low down it's actually on about 5 psi or something like that so the combination of the two gives me this sort of speckly paint effect so to start with I'm just going to go over a lot of the sort of darker places where it gets hidden and built up with this but again I'm going to go directional as much as I can as to where it would actually get um, get knocked against it is uh, as it would in the real car so apart from the wheel arches because the wheels are spinning it wouldn't be straight on hopefully that made any sense so yeah go directional for the direction the car will be going in so that it has the correct um, correct look to it So that'll do for the bottom for now, and then I'm going to do the same going around. You want to pay attention to areas where it would naturally get flicked up, like around the wheel arches. It tends to get it a lot. So. I'll build it up there, like you get on the real one, it gets flicked up around the wheels, 
the wheel arches. So, go from underneath as well. But that sort, of, again, point it backwards in that sort of direction. But I'm going to go a bit heavier on there. And then on the back, just hold it there like that a second. I'm just going to just going to flick it up there. If you look at a real car when it's got all dirty. It, I don't know why it tends to build up in the middle. So I'm going to use that as an opportunity to hide the. Uh, the gap in the decal so when I said oh, I've got a plan for that that's what my plan was so I'm just going to go lightly over the rest of the car now so you see with the mask in place that it's going to protect the windscreen like you'd have if the wipers were on so now that the bulk of it's covered I'm just turning the pressure up and then from a bit of a distance I'm just going to go around the rest of the car now just to build the dirt up a bit so that's where I'm going to leave it I'm not going to go too overboard with it but I want, I want it to go quite dirty with the look of it so that's where it's at so you'll notice I took the wheels off and so they're separate so I can paint them um, i would use the same technique as I did with the AK Interactive um, weathering on it and then wiped it off but the advantage of taking them off is it means that I can spin them so I'm going to turn the pressure back down so I get that sort of speckly effect and then I'm just going to go in at the back of the wheel it's important to make sure you get the back of the wheel because otherwise if you look through the wheels and it's really clean on the inside it's just going to look wrong so then I can do this while I'm turning the wheel and it gives it that um, rotational look to it so that's where I'm going to leave the wheels as well so they've got they've got enough dirt on them um, I'm going to do the same with spotlights I've taken spotlights off and as you saw before um, I've done the same process again on those so I'll do the same again on these as well with the uh, with the same techniques Oops. I don't knock the camera and then I can get that to blend in with the rest of the car so if I've got them on they look like they match the car but if it's off paint them separately it means that it's not noticeable there's not a noticeable gap otherwise it would be harder to try and blend it in on the car than it is to, uh, to blend the spotlights for the front spots I've just attached a magnet onto that just to hold it in place because it's at low pressure it doesn't need a lot to uh, to hold these so that'll be it for this video um, I just wanted to show you my techniques that I use so the next video I'm going to publish will be the um, the final review video so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time